so I hope that doesn't kill this video. But I came down here because last time I was here, I saw some great dikes in this little valley. And since then, I've essentially become fascinated with these shear zones. So I was hoping to crawl down there and go find those dikes and hoping one of them crosses those shear zones and I can get a sense of slip direction and understand these a little better. But the water is flowing pretty good today, so I'm not sure how this will end. Hopefully I don't come back soaking wet, but wish me luck and I will post pictures. Okay, I apologize for the wind, but I think I found something pretty significant. You see those thicker crystals in there? Those larger crystals? Well, if I follow this little dike, look, it's ever so slightly offset to the right. And look at what we have along this little zone. We have those sheer zone indicators, and they're all over here. If I follow it this way, I see those same sense of indicators. That is telling me that these are showing us our ride out slip motion to the right. So that is super cool. I will take some better pictures to go along with this video. And just again, I'm 40 foot hole here in the Wichita Mountains. It's a beautiful day except for the wind. And more to come. another one of these dikes. You see these large crystals in here? Once it hits this little shear zone here, it takes a right step and then continues on this way. And if I start to look at this shear zone, although it's pretty tiny, what I can see is if I follow it up here, I can see a few fractures that are pointing this way, telling me that that's right slip, and a few fractures pointing this way, telling me that is right slip. So maybe another smoking gun, we'll see. Um, this is the second one I found, so I'm going to keep on looking. Here in the Wichita Mountains, Southwestern Oklahoma. Can't beat it.